Now you recall when we showed you in our previous video, we um, made this inoculant product, this serum product. Which out of this serum product now, we're going to extend it to make a product that we can actually use for a compost accelerant as a foliar spray fertiliser on crops and to control odours in animal production. Now if you do use this mix in compost, remember to use around about one litre of the finished product to every 10 cubic metres of, of green waste that you're putting into your compost. And when finished, the product contains a very broad range of microorganisms. Um, it is very, very cheap to produce, so when you do make compost, or if you are using it in any sort of production at all, make the sorts of quantities that you need on a regular basis, so every two weeks or every month. You'll find if you keep it for any longer than about three months, it will eventually turn, it will oxidise and go off. Um, you can make this, this mixture in something like a 200 litre bin, as we've done here, with a very broad open top, so you can actually extract the, the finished product from the top in a bucket. We'll also be using this hemp sack. We'll put other materials into that. Any material that breaks down in the mix can actually be incorporated by putting it into this hemp sack. And the hemp sack, as we'll, we'll show you more of this later on, but more of that soon. Now, the ingredients for our mix are as follows. First, we have around about 15 to 20 litres of green material. Now, the green material will introduce phototrophic and photosynthetic bacteria into the mixture. We have around about three to five litres of fresh seawater. If you can't get seawater, you can readily make seawater from common rock salt. You can buy rock salt in most supermarkets. One cup to about three litres of water will give you a very good facsimile of seawater. The reason we use seawater is because it contains every micronutrient in some form or other, so it broadens your potential for a biological base. Next we have, over on this side, we need three litres each of bone meal and rice bran. Then on top of that we need three litres of molasses, just in this plastic container, our batch of serum that we made in our first video, and rainwater to the maximum volume in this 200 litre bin. Now first, the ingredients, the solid ingredients, which must go into this hemp tea bag, as we're calling it. So our green material goes in first, and remember that's for the phototrophic and photosynthetic bacteria. Now we put in bone meal, just common bone meal that's normally used for garden fertilizer, around about three litres of bone meal. Oh, the dog likes some of <laughs> And then three litres of rice bran. You can get rice bran in many forms. This is palletized. It won't make any difference at all once it's wet. So three litres of rice bran. And then we simply tie up our tea bag with a bit of wire. This helps you when you're actually trying to get the product out because all the things that are going to break down are now in this tea bag and they can't get out of the tea bag. Some of the small particulate matter will, but it's not going to stop you taking the material out in bulk later on. This tea bag then goes into our large bin of water. Now, the liquid ingredients are as follows. So remember we have our seawater, and I hope you're ticking these off your list as we go. So three to five litres of seawater. And again, seawater goes into this mix because this allows us to broaden the biological base as much as possible. Next, we have our serum that we made in our previous video. Remember, this is the prepared serum, the rice water, and then the rice water after four days goes into milk. That forms a cheese, and we take the serum, dilute it down 100% with rainwater and half a cup of molasses. Our serum, which is now biologically very, very active, goes into our mix. Next we have a somewhat messy job of our three litres of molasses. Try as much as possible to stir that in. So now in this container we have, you recall, our green material for phototrophic and photosynthetic bacteria in the tea bag, bone meal, which also broadens the biological base or the potential for that, the rice bran, the seawater then in liquid form, the serum and finally the molasses. So remember, once you have your 200 litre drum full to the top, we have to jiggle the tea bag once a day 
for five days. So just jiggle it a few times once a day just to ensure that everything's stirred up. After five days you'll find that um, the mixture has turned a beautiful orange colour. At that point take the bag out of the bin altogether and use it in your compost heap or just spread it on the garden. But just the final thing we'll show you is once you have the bin full and the bags in operation this becomes a fermentation process. We're using a fermentation lock which is the same lock, fermentation lock that you'd use if you were making beer and when we put this lid on we screw the lid down tight as tight as possible. Remember you have to take You'll have to take this lid off every day to jiggle the tea bag, but that's not a problem. Once you've actually got the tea bag off, just leave this material sit and allow it to ferment in normal circumstances. When you need to take the, the liquid out, if you need to take the inoculant out, unscrew the lid, take it out with a bucket, then put your lid back on. It will last for a considerable amount of time if it's under a fermentation lock. Now just as a conclusion, we just reiterate again, you can use this finished product in a number of applications. The first application is to use it as a compost accelerant where you're actually using one litre of material for every 10 cubic metres of material in your compost heap. If you use it as a foliar spray fertiliser, dilute it around 120 to 150 to 1 and a similar dilution rate or even a bit weaker than that if you're going to use it with the production of animals, so to control odour with chickens or to control odour with pigs. In all of those applications it will work very, very well. So thank you very much for listening and I wish you the best of luck with the process.